Hey you folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play the Kerbal Space Program, and we are going to start over. That's right, um, there is a very, very good reason for that. Actually, I'd already recorded a second episode, uh, but it's never going to go on the air because I'm pissed that I've missed something. I mean, that is the downside to trying to play this without sort of spoiling everything step by step, but I was pretty sure... B <clears throat> Excuse me. I was pretty sure that I'd gotten all the the basics down, um, and it turns out there was one thing I was missing. I knew in this game somewhere there was the ability to get sort of contracts and missions, and I like that sort of gameplay to push things forward. And you know, I knew there was this thing here with these contracts. I was like, okay, and I'm like, okay, I can't really, you know get any specific missions. I'm, I'm sure there was a screen somewhere, you know, but certainly I've moused over everything in this thing. And, you know, maybe there'll be a button or something obvious. No, apparently there's a tiny little building here. Now you have to make sure you're not clicking on this building that assembles your your um, your rocket ships or that you're clicking on this building over here that is your, um, your plane assembly building. No, it's this tiny little fucker over here. That look at this has a bunch of extra missions for us, which will give us a ton of bonus uh, money, some science, some fame, that sort of thing. Look at this. Launch our first vessel. To launch your first vessel off the launch pad or runway to achieve this goal. Look, look at all this free stuff just sitting around. Gather scientific data from Kerbal. Uh, look at this. Um, recover or transmit any science experiment from Kerbin to achieve this goal. And the problem is they're timered. So if you missed it, if you didn't do it, then it just goes away and then you never get to take advantage of it. And that, I think, ultimately will slow us down way too much. So, I mean, it's fine. We didn't invest that much in the first episode. We should be able to burn through the, the basics of science again. But then we're going to start building spaceships. Like, we got actual missions here to uh, escape the uh, atmosphere and orbit curb. And we're going to do that. We're not going to do the silly science farming. Um... Except for, you know, the very first start. So, yes, we'll accept the contract to launch our first vessel. We'll accept the contract to gather scientific data from Kerbin. I don't know how many... Oh, max two. There we go, which is fine. I'm going to take those two for now, um, and then we'll come back and do those others. So, let us go and start with step one. The other thing I haven't figured out yet, though, is how to get, like, your ship to roll on the, uh, on the surface. Well, we'll take a look at that. So, I'm going to grab uh, one mystery goo over there. Uh, we don't need a parachute or wings or um, girder segments or a solid booster. We don't need any of that. All right. Let us go. So, space pod, or science pod. Like that. We're going to go launch. I've been trying to look up the... Uh, the series of stuff, the steps that, like, the Apollo program went through, well, the Mercury and Gemini and so on and so forth, to try to get better and better until they get to the moon. Okay, so, basic science. We're going to get a crew report from here. Thank you very much. We are going to observe the goo. Thank you very much. We are going to EVA. Um, we are going to get a report from here. All right. Now that's the flying over report, but then what we can do is we can store this experiment here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Then drop off. It's kind of awkward. Let's try not to uh, to kill ourselves there. And we're gonna grab some more of this data here. I've I've grabbed one mod so far, you guys, and it's the one that adds more um, more text to our um, to our reports over here. I should have read the last few. Uh, Kerbal Space Program tour. Stop five of thirty one. Welcome to the launch pad. So we're going to keep that data good. And then we are going to grab and board and recover. So we'll get all our money back. We'll get our, all our science. It's a little weird when you, like, recover when you're outside of the ship. It doesn't actually recover the ship, but then you can recover it in other ways. All right, good. A little bit of uh, my first science. Bunch of funds from completing our missions. Like that. Um, actually, we only gathered scientific data. Did we... I guess we didn't technically launch that ship, did we? It's got to come off the launch pad or runway to achieve the goal. That's fine. Okay. Um, let's go and get some free signs over at the um, at the runway as well. So we're going to go to the plane assembly building. Um, I'm hoping we're not going to smash anything if I just drop one of these on there. I know it's going to be a little bit wibbly-wobbly, but I think we'll be okay. Um, and we're going to drop some science in the back. I suppose I could have bought some extra pieces. I think this will work fine. Um, if we go ahead and just launch this. So this will be taking samples and data and stuff 
from the launch pad. Yeah, so it gets dropped a little bit, but it looks like it's going to be okay. Crew report um, from the runway. Reporting it at the runway. Good thing there's not a lot of air traffic because I don't think we'll ever get clearance from the tower to be here. So we're going to get that. We are going to observe the mystery goo. Oh, I actually, I could have unlocked the, uh, the materials thing. That's okay. Um, we'll get a little bit more data from there. We will um, EVA. And yeah, this is just curb and shores, so we don't get anything new from that. Uh, so then if I just climb out and... Ah, the smell of asphalt. Keep data. And is it possible for me to... Oh, if I do that, I can board. Excellent. Recover vessel. Okay, a little bit more my first science. Do, 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 do. Excellent. No XP on that one. You only get XP the first time. Okay. More reputation. All right. Good. Uh, I suppose I can even take a, another contract. <clears throat> Not that we're going to be doing the Escape the Atmosphere quite yet. 70,000 meters. But we'll go ahead and take it. May as well, so we remember it. So now we're going to do our very first launch. We're going to lift off from the, la the launch pad. Oh, no. First, what we're going to do is get some science. Um, ba -da -ba -bum -bum -bum. Come on, loading screen. This is the research and development. Good. So we're going to grab um, Engineering 101. We're going to grab Basic Rocketry. We do... Oh, we almost have enough. Actually, we can take the Stability. And we can also take the Survivability, um, which will help. Everyone keeps telling me, Struts are awesome. We're going to go ahead and research this one. So, um, as far as I understand it, actually, what it means is if you normally try to sort of land, try to do your gentle landing... Um, the problem is, if you still have your engine at the bottom, right, like our liquid fuel engine over here, for example, this has a crash tolerance of 7 meters per second, whereas our landing struts have a crash tolerance of 10 meters per second. Not much more, but apparently makes all the difference when it comes to uh, our parachutes and things. So we're going we're gonna to do some of that. So let's go ahead. We're going to put down a um, command pod. We're going to add the Science Junior underneath it. Um... And I guess we'll do the same thing where we've got the goo pods. I might put in two because we might be able to get something from in the atmosphere and then maybe um, on the ground wherever we land as well. Uh, you know what? Instead of placing these manually like a dumbass and not ending up with something symmetrical or balanced, how about we... I would like... Oh, I keep trying to uh, zoom in with the mouse, but no, you've got to... Mousing, the, the rolling the mouse only moves it uh, up and down, which is fine, but my reflex is to zoom with the mouse. Okay, a couple of science thingamabobs. We uh, are going to need a parachute. So these micro landing struts, presumably we're going to want, um, I mean, at least three, maybe, maybe four. I'm going to hope that three gives us the stability. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead with four. Slightly more weight, but that's okay. Looks like it's got to be attached in a couple of bits. And uh, from what I understand... We can do that and retract them. Cool. Let's do them as a group. That's very convenient. I think there's a hotkey as well. I think I checked it out. It's like G for landing gear or something like that. We'll see how it goes. Okay. We've got that. So what we need... Oh, wait. Hold on. We're going to need to move these because in addition to the science, we're going to need um, a little bit of fuel. It's really not going to be very much. And then a little bit of that, right? Right. So we'll move this. Is it going to extend far enough? No. Are we going to have to do... We're going to have to eject bits. Aren't we? I suppose we are. Okay. So you move aside. Uh, structural. So we're going to need a, our first stack decoupler. I mean, if we landed gently enough, technically we could do it. Especially if you land in the ocean. I suppose if... Um, Actually, maybe that's what we'll do when we'll try to launch. Although, this is not the one that can vector, is it? No, our ability to steer is going to be relatively non-existent. So mostly we're just going to go straight up and come right back down. Um, and that's okay. All right. So this is going to be... This is like my first spaceship. All it does is it goes up and goes down. Let's make sure... Uh, we've got our stage right, so first stage will be to fire off this rocket here. Second stage will be to detach it. Third stage parachute. Actually, why? If I'm not, if I can't steer, if I'm just going straight up and down, I bet you we can save money by just grabbing one solid 
rocket booster. And then we can't really reuse that anyway. Although it's so short, I don't know if, like how much recovery we can get. But that can work. What's the crash tolerance on that thing? Yeah, it's still the seven. That can work. So you know what? Let's not use that. Let's do that. Recover everything. I mean, I just saw the boosters. I don't know if it makes sense to recover them or not. No, probably it does. You can fill them up with some stuff. Okay, if we do something like that... Um, oh, do we want... And the answer is yes. To stick an antenna on our dude somewhere. I'm hoping it doesn't really matter where you put it. On the parachute bit. No, tell you what. Let me put it uh, right there. That way we can potentially take um, a crew report from um, in the air transmit it and then when we land take another one and our ability to sort of steer is going to be pretty minimal there is in the um, the control pod over here it does have um, this reaction wheel thing that lets us steer a little bit but it's a long heavy ship and it's not like this thing does anything to us I guess we could add some aerodynamics actually that's probably a very good idea very good idea if we do that, we should get, A, much more stable flight. And I think you might be able to use these to steer. I'm actually not sure. No, they, they probably don't steer. But we'll do that anyway. It does add weight. But what could possibly go wrong? Okay, let's launch. Now, I'm not sure. Well, we'll complete the, con the contract of, like, taking off, right? We've got one contract here. Launch our first vessel. We're going to get that. Um, we might even get to 3,500 meters. I'm not sure. Uh, we definitely won't. Did I not take the contract for um, getting into uh, getting into orbit or anything? I don't think so. All right. <clears throat> we are going to hit T to turn on the SAS. Um, I think I was confused in the last video in that I think I might be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure when I first played it, like way back in 2011, you had to add explicit SAS modules. But now it seems to be there. As long as you got a pilot, we can SAS. Um, Right, we don't have the decoupler anymore. Okay, so basically, we're just going to hit space. Now, what I'm going to try to do is aim towards the ocean again. So, we'll see what we can do. All right, space. I'm going to actually rotate, so it'll be a little easier to land, a little bit flat. you got a speed record, which is good. Now, pitch down. Oh, wow. Yeah, we ran out of fuel super fast. So, we'll go as high as we can. Almost 3,500. Almost! get a crew report transmit it oh it extends the antenna how cool is that oh so close deploy the chute we're on our way back down let's do one mystery goo from here um good we'll keep that data since transmit it doesn't make sense we can i believe oh we can't disembark at this point and for all i know we would have killed uh we would kill killed jebediah by eva at this point whoa 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 it's interesting. Uh-oh. I think we'll flip over when uh, the chute fully deploys, which I think is at 500 meters. Uh, but that was a mistake. Because we don't have... I think if I was just the uh, the module itself, I would be able to flip myself back over. Come on. Okay. Oh, and deploy the gears. Oh, hang on. It's not G. Oh, God. It's only going to do one leg at a time. For fuck's sake. Oh, God. Oh, God. There must be... I just hit G. Maybe there's a like a shift key or alt key or something like that. Uh, we're going at 7 meters per second. Oh, no! Were the struts not long enough? Or not solid enough? They are supposed to be crash tolerant to, uh, to 10. And we were only, we were going at like 7.4 or something like that when we landed. Maybe, oh, you know what? There is a thing that says lock suspension. What I bet you happens, they sort of squish in a little bit, and it was enough to touch the bottom of the, um, to touch the bottom of the engine. All right, well, live and learn. Uh, I'm worried if I flip over, I'm going to knock off one of these um, little dispensers here. So, we're not going to do that. We're going to get a crew report from here. Oh, this still counts as launch pad? Okay, so we wouldn't get anything out of an EVA anyway. Damn! Alright, well, let's recover what we can. I don't know if we can recover any more of the little bits and pieces that didn't get destroyed over there. We did get some more science. Oh, yeah, there we go. A little bit. My first spaceship debris. How cute is that? Um, yeah. I don't know. It feels like... It feels like it should have landed, but I bet you that's what happened. All right, we've got... Uh, we completed some of these. We got a record of 300 meters per second and 150 meters per second and launched our first vehicle. Great. Let's go into here. So... If, 
Hmm. Um. Landing. I'm just gonna. G. Toggle landing gear. Oh, that's landing gear for planes. I bet you. What about strut? Uh, Kerbal Space Program Strut. Um, what what do they call them? Shortcut keys. Hot key. I mean, come on. There must be. There must be a hot key for struts. You need to press G to activate the legs. I did push G to activate the legs. I was distinctly hitting G. Maybe I, maybe I hit him too fast. We'll have to do another test. But, yeah, so in here, yeah, see, G doesn't work. Shift G, no. I mean, I'm not flying. I'll give you that. And um, yeah, yeah, see, they do technically extend past the, um, past this cone, but I bet you it's the suspension that does it. I mean, I can sort of do this, but I don't think that would count as being properly attached. <clears throat> okay, so if we're going to do that again, and we will, but we'll have to get a, um, we'll have to split it off. What I'm hoping, though, um, don't save. What I'm hoping is we'll get enough science so we can get the uh, the vectored little thrusty bit here. Um, science, <clears throat> which is going to be general rocketry, the swivel liquid engine. There we go. We have just enough for that. Thank goodness. All right, and that, that will make a big difference. Because now, we can um, remove that. Now we can go ahead with... Oh, we've got the bigger fuel tank as well, which we may very well use. I guess we will have to do the uh, ejectifying. Like that. Slightly bigger fuel tank. Actually, we really don't need much. May as well. Um, and then the swivel engine. So I will still go with the struts right over here. Um, but I'm going to attach them to the science module. Although, ooh, uh, when the science module opens, um, deploy this. Okay, it's over there. So I'm thinking we should make sure that there's no struts in the way. <clears throat> so I'm going to go with the, uh, the, tr the triple setup here and hope if I do something like this, does that like does that impede it? Oh, maybe it doesn't matter. I have no idea if it's going to get in the way or not. And I can actually lower this right to there, right to the limit of the eject ejection thing. Three landing gear should be plenty. All right, so my goal is to just see if this is properly working so that we can vector the thrust away from the launch pad um, and land in the ocean and the grasslands. We've got a parachute, we've got a couple of goos, we've got this, we've got the antenna if we need it. I guess that antenna, now that I think about it, didn't mess, well we didn't really try to deploy it last time. I don't know, there's only one way to find out. At that, we've got that, we've got that. We can't put the landing legs in one of these activators, right? There's, they don't show up there. Um, I wonder if I were to, uh, this is the B. Save this. Can I open up? No, can't open up a menu from here. Let's go to exit. Just wonder if there's a customizable, um, hotkey option screen. Settings? No. All right. And, um, may as well take this mission. Escape the atmosphere. Oh, there it is. Okay, you can scroll this. Excellent. Okay, so we got our speed missions as well. Escape the atmosphere, which isn't going to happen today. Uh, my first spaceship, B. Let's go ahead and try to launch. While we're still on the launch pad, I'm going to hit the G key and see if the... G. Shift G. Oh, it is a capital G. Capital G. So shift G. All right, that's a little unintuitive. When I just see, like, G by itself, yes, it's a capital G in, like, the uh, the table that I'm looking at in the wiki, but I just assume that's just the G key. I would have written shift plus, like, lowercase g or something to make it clear. Okay, that'll make life so much better. Okay, so we are going to first max out our throttle, right? There we go. Max throttle over here because we do have throttle control on this one. We are going to activate the SAS. 
we are going to launch. I don't have to rotate, but it makes my life a lot easier if I do. And that's we're just going on a short little ballistic run over here. Above the ocean. Good. Whoa. Nope. Nope. Ejectify that. Oh, we'll go a little higher than before, although I don't think we're going to complete our mission. We did have a contract. Oh, that was the old one for um, altitude record. Cool. So we're just reaching the peak now, and then when we're on our way down. I don't need the landing gear for landing in the ocean, obviously. Uh, but I do want to use the same design to go on to the, um, to the grass, which will be the next thing we do. Okay, let me go and deploy shoot. And uh, just adjust a little like this so that we are sort of on the right orientation for what's going on here. And did we, we didn't get over the ocean before. So crew report, ocean, transmit that. Goo one over the ocean. I don't think it matters. No, flying over Kerbin, because the goo doesn't really do biome in the air. It does biomes on the ground, though. But, you know, we'll get a little bit more science stored in there. Okay, so I transmitted that because once we splash down, I want to do another crew report at that point. We are still going quite fast, but that's because the chute hasn't fully deployed yet. It does it at 500 meters. All right. And a nice, gentle, delicate sploosh into the water. Electric charge is going down. So you do need an electric charge to... Um, to send signals with your antenna. We used a little bit of it. When the engine is running, I think the electric charge is always going. And I think there's some extra bits and batteries and things we can do, maybe like solar panels. There we go. Now, I would like to pitch down that way. There we go, so we should be able to do an EVA. Let's do the goo container from the ocean. Goo escapes into the water, excellent. Get some science there, we'll get another crew report from the water. Arr, mateys, let's show those landlubbers at KCS who's the master of the high sea truly are. All right, sounds good to me. And then, Jeb, you're going to EVA. I don't know if there's a EVA you can do from here. There is. You hope that sharks can't jump this high. So technically flying over, but not really. Um, I guess we'll just hit the transmit button. We could have also stored, but transmitting makes it pretty easy. Oh, no comms device. Really? Okay. So um, we're going to store the experiment instead. And then we can... Just shuffle off over here. Now we're doing an in the water. Calculate the number of snacks you should bring to be able to swing to KSP. We'll keep that data. Uh, I guess store it again. Not that it really matters. And then the trick will be, can we get back on? And I'm not sure that we can. Oh, board. Sweet. Recover vessel. Should be a good amount of science. Assuming we've done it correctly. Crew report from Kerbin's water, EVA flying over, EVA from the water, goo while flying, which we'd already done, it's not going to give us much science, but no, it's still all right, and goo from the water. Recovery of a vessel that survived the flight gives us a bit of science as well. We got most of our funds back. We did, of course, do... Actually, we didn't do any detachment. Uh, yes, we did. Good. Okay, let's do one more flight with this model in this video, where we're going to try to land on the grassland using our new struts of excitement. Um, I should probably get some different XP in here. Let's go cancel you. Let's bring, we still need a pilot because we still need the SAS, but Valentina hasn't gotten any experience points yet. So let's go, my spaceship, be, oh. Uh, oh, I hadn't actually saved the changes. Hang on. Which one's the right ship? Damn it. I don't know if we, like, there was the autosave. Yeah, my first spaceship B is the one that we're operating on with the, the swivel engine. Okay. Save, and let's go back out here. So I don't want to launch directly, so I can change my thing. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, <clears throat> I guess this, because this is not actually my last ship. I guess maybe if I didn't hit save and I just hit launch, is that one? All right, so we got that one, and we're going to put uh, Valentina in the pilot seat so she can get a bit of experience points. Okay. Launch. So now my goal is just to angle into the grassland. So SAS turn on, throttle is full. Um, we're gonna fly in that sort of direction over there. Uh, so hit the gas, rotate. 
Over that way. And then that way. No! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. We're pointing at the ground, which is entirely ungood. I don't know if we're going to have the distance to really do what we want to do here. I'm going to bomb the uh, Kerbal Space Program buildings. I think we're still going to land here. Now, that might still count as different type of landscape. The shores or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm leery about accelerating time because I know that things go a little bit wacky if you do. Um, see no reason not to deploy the parachute now. May as well deploy the landing gear as well. Um, Shift G. There we go. I clicked it twice the first time it didn't go. Maybe there's like a certain, like, another animation that's going or, or whatever, so I'm not really realizing or recognizing what's going on. <clears throat> so we'll try that again. I think we can get there. I mean, maybe I could just give myself more juice as well. And actually, why don't I do that? I'll go to the next fuel tank. There's a new contract. Well, we set a distant record at some, some point. Kaboom. Um, what was I saying? Uh, we could go with a bigger fuel tank just to try to reach a little bit further as well. Plus, we'll get higher. Maybe we'll break a new altitude record. That could happen. So, I have no idea what this is going to count as. Oh, I forgot to do um, crew report from here. No, nothing. Okay. This is going to feel very satisfying as landing. Do, 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 do. So yeah, so there's a whole video that's going to be lost to all time and space now because um, I did it without those missions and that drove me crazy. Mystery Goo? This is the Kerbal Space Program, yeah, area. So a lot of these, eh, we have some science. EVA? No, not from that. Um, and if we drop down, oof, oof, ow. We EVA report from here. Okay, keep this data. <clears throat> Can we climb back aboard our ship? Not sure what we can. I mean, there must be a way to do it. There we go. Ow! Fuck. I mean, because how else <clears throat> are you going to do this if you, like, land on the moon? There's got to be... Oh, hold on. There's like a spot there where it worked for a second. All from the ground. Oh! Keep taking one time too far. Just one step at a time. Oh, for fuck's sake! My, I think there's like a little delay when it comes up. And by that point, my finger's already like ready to take the next step. Oh, now that was just crap. Why? Why is there like, um... I, I don't even know if it's going to, uh... If it's going to work. No, oh, see, it's catching it like mid-step. Maybe I'm imagining things because <clears throat> it's not actually... There we go. Wow, and then it just bumps me off. Amazing. Okay, get get in... All right, it's fine. Listen, we're just going to recover Vessel, <clears throat> which actually I think is only going to recover Valentina for some weird reason. But we'll still be able to recover the other Vessel after that. See, we've done that. And then if we look over, we can do this, but... I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need some advice on how to board <laughs> my goddamn ship again. I'll probably just Google it. There'll probably be a clear guide about how you're supposed to get back on your um, your ship after a landing. Still, still, uh, these new mission things, that is pretty awesome. We do have to go, and uh, before we run out of time, we will have to um, escape the atmosphere. That is our, our next mission here. I guess if we go, not there. We will need to unlock some stuff. So we're not going to rush towards the uh, the plane stuff. People are telling me it's actually going to be relatively hard. We might want more stability stuff with some more winglets and things. Um, not to mention the option that radial decouplers offer us. Actually, there's no doubt about it. We have to go there because everything else is going to be too expensive. Um, yeah, so we have to take the stability enhancements no matter what. So we'll go and lock that in. Um, that is fine. And yeah, if we go and look at our missions... God, I'm so pissed we missed that before. Uh, escape the atmosphere. We've got... Um, Where's the time? Oh, deadline, never. Deadline, never. Oh, okay. So do you only have a limited time, amount of time to take the contract, but some of the things don't have any actual deadlines? That's useful, okay. So it's that that's like doubly annoying that we missed them then. Um, we got lots of money in the bank. And yeah, I think we're just going to... Um, I mean, we could get a little extra science from doing that, but of course by finishing the missions we can do that as well. So we're going to go and try to go high and far on the next go. And wherever we land, 
hopefully it's a new biome and we can take some samples. So it's not going to be a little short hop to the grasslands anymore. We'll just try to, um, we'll just try to take off, uh, go as high and far as we can and, and then take a sample of wherever the hell we land. Um, hopefully not the ocean again. Thank you very much for watching another episode. Sorry we had to restart, but honestly, I think it's for the best. Um, we're going to be able to accelerate the rest of our curve so much more. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.